Hey, Shalom, Shalom. The real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out, prophesying the return of the Messiah, the Heavenly Son. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, the Great Millstone, and GMS. Honors to all Akim around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. So we're just on the way to uh, um, the Passover, and uh, we're just going to do a, a transit, you know, through the Spirit. Anybody got a scripture you want to jump out there and start with? First of all, Jake doesn't know that this is the, the Passover right now. It's a beautiful day, 71 degrees right now in Chicago, the first 70s of the year. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be 50 tomorrow or 40 tomorrow because that's how Chicago is. You know. I got something. Uh, if you don't mind. This is um, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 33, verse 7. It says, Why doeth one day excel another? When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun, by the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished and he altered seasons and feasts. All right, because we're in the Passover season. All right, this is the point, verse nine. Some of them hath he made high days and hallowed them. And some of them have he made ordinary days, man. And like the elder Uriah was just going into some of these people, two thirds of our, you know, two thirds of Israel don't understand that, uh, you know, today is, is the Passover, man. So they're still giving into their folly, okay? As a prime example, uh, my carnal family right now as we speak are in Vegas for a wedding, you know? And so that's a prime example that, you know, they're giving into their own fleshly desires, man, and not seeking out the things that be of Yahweh by Shimei That's right. But, Everybody eat that wedding cake? Yeah. It's going to be all full of uh, leaven. Mm -hmm. We just spent the day, you know, uh, the whole morning clearing, clearing out the, the, the main house. From, uh, from Levin, mm -hmm. and it was a multi-layered process from individual rooms to the uh, refrigerator to the cupboards to downstairs freezer to the downstairs refrigerator, and you know, and so it's a, it's a nice big box of uh, Levin you get to take out, you know, but that's rehearsing the righteous acts. Somebody can get that. Go ahead. What else you say? I was just speaking on the fact that this is this is a hollow date. You know, and uh, Israel is not seeing it as such. That's that's, that's right. the point. That's right. You got so, something to speak up? All right, God. This Judges, chapter 5, verse, verse 11. It say they made that are delivered from the noise of archers into the places of drawing water. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. So we're those ones going down to the gates. We're the ones out there prophesying and warning our people. We're the ones out here living it and doing it. Okay? Right? And we're the ones that are, are rehearsing, recounting the righteous acts. Alright? So we're, 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 we're doing the best we can to keep the Sabbath days, um, keep um, the dietary laws, all right? Because Jake doesn't understand, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and if you can believe these words, I don't care what you look like, all right? Because we are the true Hebrew Israelites, if you can hear these words and call on the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakodash, and return from your ways, which is what? The ways of this wicked world, man. That's right. Coming That's right. back to the law, statute, commandments, and these scriptures. All right? That's right. Please speak up. Tom. This is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. It said, The ox lords his owner and the ass his master crib, but Israel do it not know, my people do not consider. It says, A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they are forsaken, Yahweh, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going away backward. That's right. That's right. Break it down, brother. Yeah, that's plain. Our people, they don't know. They don't know that this is a high holy day, you know. And, 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 and the man on the Lord on the highways and byways even preaching, man. This is a sign to them, man. But they don't consider it. They don't that's consider right. the sign that the Lord has given out to them. That's right. And um, I went into the online etymology word or the definition for the word consider. It says late 14th century to fix the mind upon for careful examination, mm -hmm. to meditate upon. And see, they not thinking at all, like the scriptures say, the Lord is not all in their thoughts. They're not thinking upon 
you know, uh, these things, man. Okay, so they again, they carry on and they follow, and ultimately they're following a path of destruction, man. All right? Um, was that it that you had on that, brother? You mind if I grab this quick precept? This was for what the elder Uriah was going into. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So that implies that there's coming a time when our Lord is not going to be easily found like he can be now. All right? You can come up and inquire of the prophets if you have questions. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can, you can come ask questions. You can do these things, man. How do I hurt to do the feast? How That's right. That's right. You know, you go back into the Hebrew understanding. And you, you can't even really do the service unless you know some Hebrew. That's right. You have to be, pro, you know, uh, how you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite and you don't even know you can't say the, uh, the alphabet Learn it man Alright If you even have to just take that sound bite And, re and, re and uh, repeat that You know It says Isaiah 55 and 7 Let the wicked forsake his way And the unrighteous man his thoughts And let him return unto the Lord And he will have mercy upon him And to our power for he will abundantly pardon Okay so he's supposed to forsake that old man, that wicked way, you know? It says, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, man. You know, cast it far from you. It says, and let him return unto the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh he will have mercy upon him. Okay? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is willing to have mercy, man. You see? And pardon your iniquities. That's right. It said his, he his hand is stretched out still. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. But how, for how long, though? Kind. Kind. I got signed. This um, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is here to them that are lost. Mm -hmm. It says, the most high of this, the God of this world, um, have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious um, gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the most high, should shine unto them. You know, so these people they don't have the, um, the understanding. They don't have that uh, that the spiritual covering on them, and they don't um, consider these scriptures because they blind it. You know, a hey, um, Satan got these people. You know, hey, they, 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 these people was um, blinded from the truth. They can't receive it. That's but right. the Lord blessed us to receive this truth, so we can continue seeking after Him and hoping to be delivered. That's right, and to wake up the hopeful righteous elect, that those that can hear. Right, that He said for them that can hear. Uh, so you can say thyself for them that hear thee. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's it. Hey, the, uh, the brother Bacar just made a statement. He said, Satan got these people. He got their mind. All right, this is real quick, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You just read that? Uh, Khan, Khan, Salaki, I'm thinking you read Isaiah 8 and 20. That's the right. The spirit wanted to be yeah, man. brought out again. When, Khan, the, when Khan. the Most High reiterates himself, especially back to back, it's because the Most High wanted to go out, wanted to go out again. Khan. And even, even, even a third time, mm -hmm. if our gospel be hid... It is, it is here, here to, to them, them that are lost. lost. That's right. You, you, you can't. You don't want to believe these words because they're coming from some so-called Negroes, some Latinos, some Native Americans, some niggas in the street. You know, some guys who you know who might not be, uh, uh, you know, got a whole bunch of degrees or you know, um, don't have a whole bunch of money and don't have these prestigious jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, but you go into the scriptures, you see that's the same set of men who were the men of the Lord back in the days. You know, um, men who had trades like fishermen, all right? Paul was a tent maker. He had uh, uh, physicians. We had uh, publicans. We had um, uh, all kind of uh, offices, all right, just as we do now. Okay. But it came from people who were not so-called learned with the, the degrees and the, the theological synagogues and so forth, just like the, the men of the Lord in the scriptures. They said, man, where are your letters? They don't have no letters. No, we ain't got no letters. What do we have? We have the spirit of truth, God. all right? And we have the spirit of prophecy, all right? And those that can hear and see it are the ones who are actually on this vibration. And those who can't see it, they're going to be destroyed, God. all right? That's why we're waking up our people, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Wake up, yeah. because the time is today. Go ahead. He said that the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. He said, brother. The Lord blinded these people. Why do you have watching my shine? Okay. You know, it's understanding. Okay. Hey, I had thought the brother had read this, but he didn't, so I'm going to get it anyway. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony. All right. If they, yeah, kind. Okay. It says, to the law and to the testimony. 
if they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. You see? And that light is, a, you know, that gift of faith that is given by Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, like you was just saying. You know, the water to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua for that, man. Because it's not manifest unto many. You see? see? Everyone can't receive this gift. Everyone can't receive this light. So the fact that we got it, we got to let it shine. That's what the scriptures say in the book of Matthew, man, the gospel, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall that unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true. For every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay. So let the word, let the, let the Lord's words be true. The Lord's words are faithful and true. You know, just because these people don't believe doesn't mean that these prophecies are not going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right, man. Hey, you know, that's what the scriptures say. Okay. Uh, I think of the scripture in the book of Second, they're just talking about their incredulity. Mm -hmm. You know, the, and that they the don't trouble thee. That's right. Against thee. That's right, man. Which is that unbelief, that, uh, that, that, that lack of faith, so to speak, man. It's not going to stop these prophecies from coming to fruition. All right. They're still going to be made manifest, man. And they're speaking loud and clear. All right. They're not tarrying. All right. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah is turning up right now, man. This is why you need to fear him, man. All right, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? So, that's right. That's it, man. I mean, but, but it's that's for those that can hear those, you know, the warning. You hear the call. All right? Mm -hmm. Most people can't hear because they're so busy, wrapped up in their own lust, as the scriptures say. Uh, they're drawn away after their own temptations and their lust after their own heart. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. But when, you, when you're sick and tired... Then you, you, you come to the Lord. That's why most people don't even think about the Most High unless something bad happens to them. You see, when they get in uh, jail, you see niggas trying to get the Bible and try to go, you know, start praying. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody, mommy gets sick or someone going to get, you know, hurt themselves in a, in a, in a, you know, or get themselves in a bad jam. Then you see Jake trying to get their, their, their proverbial shit together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say in their affliction they were seeking early. You know? Right. And so that's what it is. They want to wait till they catch a hell right. to want to try to seek after your high body shimmy am shot. That's right. And then see, and then like the scripture says, my people will be willing mm -hmm. in the day of my power, but that doesn't mean the most high is gonna be willing for you. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh you know, the most the most high there's gonna be people coming in into the eleven, twelfth hour and so forth. Mm -hmm. But there's also gonna be people being shut away. All right, and the proof of that is the scripture that says, uh, um, uh, many that say, Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. somebody get that. Come, come. All right, that's why we want to make sure that, uh, we're, we're in uh, order with the Heavenly Father, okay? And then the law, statutes, commandments, doing the best that we can. He said, Blesses he when he returns that he finds so doing, come. doing what the things that he say, being obedient to the mm -hmm. best of their ability. Of course we're going to make mistakes. Of course we're not going to be perfect. But the thing is that we're acknowledging our mistakes and we're trying to get better. Mm -hmm. All right? And we're uh, acknowledging our faults with the Heavenly Father and, uh, you know, getting better. You know what I'm saying? Growing in the faith. Mm -hmm. Spirit and power, how about Shemiah Go ahead. This is Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So that's it, man. Not everyone that, that says, Lord, Lord, you know, is going to enter into the kingdom. You see? So you got to tread lightly, you know? And actually do the things like the scriptures say, but he that doeth the will. All right, that's that John 4, all right, in 22. Okay, let me get that real quick. Just because it came to me through the spirit. All right, you got to do the will. You got to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. All right, deceiving your own selves. This is John, St. John 4. I'm going to start at verse 22. The point is in 24. It says, ye worship, ye know not what we know, what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him, man. You so, see? That's it. Most well, doesn't want no uh, a fake... Right. The Most mm -hmm. High doesn't want a phony. Mm -hmm. The Most High wants a real uh, believer, a real soldier, and that means you 
will be tested to prove that you are who you claim to be. You know, the most of us prove all things and hold fast that which is good. So you don't believe that he's going to prove us. He says to prove a friend. God. So don't you think the Lord, he says, and he, we're, we call uh, us friends of the most high. Mm -hmm. So is, isn't the Lord going to prove us just as he proved Abraham when, uh, with um, Isaac? Yeah. All right. That's right. That's right. So we're in this proving process. And yes, that's why we have a lot of nights that we cry. That's like why we have a lot of nights where we, you know, just go through and we're looking at brothers and like, man, you know, you know, man, this is that, you know. Right. And we're crying out, and, you know, and disdain for whatever, you know, ailment or financial problem or spiritual problem or emotional problem, family problem, work problem, you know what I'm saying, physical problem. It's all kinds of things, man. Mm -hmm. But we, 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 we pray to the Lord and we, you know, fighting in it, you know. That's right. So, and we're continuing to fight the fight to proclaim the way of the Lord. All right. That's right. That's right. And we're telling our people to do the same thing. That's wow. what we're, we're, we're proclaiming the way of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. He's coming back. Pops here. Man, Pops is, is is right here on the outside looking in. All right. That's right. This is, it's just it's just when he's ready to to enact that final. You know, I'm here. You know, he will. But it's it's getting very close. So. Hopefully this has been edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakadash. All praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York at Great Millstone and GMS. Honors to all I came around the planet. Looking at the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. So uh, with that we're going to say Shalom and uh, get get back right while we got a chance. Shalom. 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 Shalom.